Tell me why. Chapter 2. Let's get into it. Just gotta connect to Xbox Live, you know? I'm gonna open my Twitch app real quick and set everything up. Da da da. Da da da. Continue. And this is Chapter 2, by the way, so uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, what happened last chapter? So, we figured out the mom didn't actually kill, well, attempt to kill the, I don't know if I say son or daughter, um, due to his haircut. So, we have that now. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. It's always goblins. Crafty goblins did everything together, until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited. And together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. I didn't realize they do Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. Let's get into this. What's next? We on a train? Ah, uh, right after she got murdered by scissors. <laughs> Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat it up. Back to the train noises. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. Your house is so creepy. Train noises again. Ollie? Personally, mine would be a hot dog. What a waste. <laughs> oh, that cannot be good. Is that the ice cream? Allison! Ollie! Allison, help!
been traumatizing. Mom, I killed her. Tell me why. Chapter 2, Family Secrets. Oh yeah, loading screen. <laughs> I expected like a transition and then I just see this little goblin to the bottom right. doing all right I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives you know but instead we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy okay no we're not letting ourselves do this again come on up my numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. A gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do <laughs> Ah, that dumb puzzle that I'll never be able to solve. Goblin face is keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell. And trash can is, well, trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Don't kick. I'm not gonna make that. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Appliances. Although, it's an oven that really oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Aw, uh, 
I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. Pickle and ketchup. Uh, let's see. Ugh, why'd you have to remind me of that? I don't know how you ate that stuff. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Nice. So good. Okay. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Uh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. You were no better. <laughs> well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. I don't, don't think that's how... Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. Why would I? Um, because that's normal. What's this doing down here? Is that? Uh, I don't know. Gum? Probably. Uh, I guess that was probably me. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that's what I said. What else do we sell? Oh, what about that table right here? Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. I think you keep this. A nice tablecloth could hide the stains. A tablecloth? Ooh, fancy lady. Whatever. Oh. Oh, what, what are you doing? That's... What's that smell? You. Oh no, not this. Hold on, let me place a sticky note on him, please. You're doing a great job. Uh, thanks? <laughs> That's great. Kick me, stick and note one what Tyler's back. Smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could have been sure Stinky sorry. Pants Sam. <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kempsey, hero of skunk kind. I remember skunk. being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Very, very interesting. I like this table. We're keeping this. Oh, I can't even Allison, choose. I asked you to clean up the coffee table three well, times already. I was gonna <laughs> keep the Oops. coffee table. I forgot. All right. I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? I you want to keep the coffee table. That's what I said. Uh, yeah. Is that okay? Sure. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right. I'll keep it. I see bugs. Oh, never mind. Are you gonna- I really like that armchair. For your forest jack. Yeah. It'll look sharp next anyway. to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. <laughs> I have faith in you. Um, keep trash, keep trash, keep trash, keep. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? I'm um, too much of a hogger. How do I get out of this? Is my game broken? And finally. I hate to say it, but... The couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. 
only I could move. There we go. Kind of glitched for a second there, but that's okay. That's a nice face. I wonder if uh, I thought that was green still in there. <laughs> what? You're what now? You know, my blue toy horse with the kind of melted face, the one you stole from me. What? That never happened. Yeah, it did. I won it at that little Halloween carnival they had at the school every year. You grabbed it and hid it in the pot. Then when I tried to get it back, you said there was a snake inside too. Whatever you say, horse face. We have the same face. So we're not gonna check the pot or? Hmm. What about this? <laughs> I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. Poor volcano. She was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. Allison. No, no. My tingly senses. Ah, <sighs> where? Ah, there we go. I was looking completely Lasagna, wrong direction. Finish your salad first. Thank you. Tessa. Hey. Can you You're come here for No, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> here you go, little one. You must be hungry, too. <laughs> Tessa really did keep us all fed. She always tried to take care of everyone. Still does. I guess. Allison. Why does he keep calling my name? Ah. What's up? Should I throw these pictures out? I still think they're good to have. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy. And she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right, what's your I'm verdict, Ronan? You know what, I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Okay. Oh, wait, this picture. Nothing. Really? Oh, man. I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, smile. Like Alice. Oh, no. Senses. Uh. Ah. Come on, honey, smile like Allison. So hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole huh. it. Oh, so shoot. My Whoever sister. that was was the very fish sad thief. after that. <laughs> You were just being bratty. Was I, though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. So sad. What does he do? Hey, Allison. Come take a break with me. Starting the fire Breaks again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Mm. Earl Grey or chai? Your call. 
I'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe. Ah, a nice pot of wakey wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. Oh no, Zangli says. For your beings. punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <laughs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. I think they're all still in the kitchen drawer. We should go take a look. Probably. Am I looking in the wrong drawer? How many drawers are there? Ah, oh, we already did this. Come check this out. Ah, uh -huh, I thought we were trying. Ah, I was right. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. <laughs> Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. <laughs> You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you 